Welcome back to the Ben Thomas Show. Today we are going to take a look at the Bandai Legacy Version 1 to 1 scale Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Helmet. And damn, that was a mouthful to say, by the way. I had to record that about eight times before I got it right. But back to business. Today we're going to compare it also with a carded figure. We're going to take a look at it beside the 3 0 Green Ranger, which is awesome, by the way, for $100. However, we'll definitely get there. For me, the Green Ranger, the Tommy character has always been my favorite. And the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series for me is the most iconic to my, you know, level of nostalgia uh, of childhood when it comes to the Power Rangers. But Tommy, the Green Ranger for me was always uh, the goat and I have loved having this in my collection. But I will say that even under premium lighting types, it can still look a little on the plastic side, but ultimately, I can easily say that I do really like the way that it looks in my collection. But I do want to take a look at this helmet beside the carded figure that I have. So let's just move this guy around. Here we go. I got this from Shauna uh, a couple years ago. Uh, it was just a little gift that she brought me home from the store one day. I was very excited. I'd seen it in a comic book store. Uh, I know that it's the newer version of that Power Ranger specifically. It's not the really old school one. But I had this guy as a kid. It takes me back to early Christmases. Uh, and it was a really sweet gift. But I gotta say, I do really like the way that these two pair together. In terms of uh, small scale figures pairing with different scales of collections, I think it really depends on the collection type that you're trying to have. Most of my collection is Batman and Star Wars and Marvel. So this Green Ranger helmet almost stood out in a bad way when I first brought it home. Have you ever had that feeling before with a collectible where you bring it into your collection and you're all excited and you go to put it on the shelf and you're kind of like, hmm. Especially with how bright this helmet is in normal lighting or display lighting, it's really, really green, which is cool, don't get me wrong. But again, it also has a little bit more of that plastic look to it, which ultimately, when you take a look at the original series, the TV show, their helmets had a plastic look to them as well. Like, that is the costume. And the color match on these two is amazing. I mean, as you can see, they are both Bandai products, so I'm sure they share information. They can probably obtain the color palettes between the lines. But that makes me so happy. Uh, but I think when comparing it to something like the Mandalorian helmet, for me it does lose a little bit of its premium looking status. Uh, you can tell that this is more of a costume type helmet rather than a movie or television show prop replica, for example. And honestly, my biggest nitpick of this helmet, and it always has been since the minute I picked it up, is the clasps on the side. The way the helmet detaches on the back from the front really breaks the illusion for me that this is just that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers helmet that spawns when you pull out your morpher. Clearly this option, again, is more of a costume, which ultimately does reduce this rating for me. But let's put them with the 3-0 Power Ranger uh, that just recently was released. This is of course a licensed line. It is deemed the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, Green Ranger by 3-0. You can tell the color is actually really different. Now, it's interesting because in my mind's eye, and what I remember from the television series, I actually think that the helmet has a better color representation. But then I think of movie accuracy, uh, and of course the way that all screens portray color a little bit differently. It makes me then wonder if the 3-0 option is a little bit more screen accurate. So that's going to be something I'm diving into a little bit. I want to turn up the lights here again so you can see just how different the color truly is. But displayed together, again, if you wanted to get the Green Ranger helmet uh, with another figure or with a box carded figure like we saw previously, it gives them a little more purpose together in the collection and at certain angles, it's really cool. 
And just so you guys know, I do plan to do a bigger deep dive into the 3.0 Ranger as well. I'll do a little bit of an unboxing for anybody who hasn't either seen one or just wants to check out the accessories and get a different take on it. But despite the color difference on these two, I am still happy with the, how they pair together. Again, that clasp on the side breaks the immersion on the helmet side for me. You can see that with the 3.0 Ranger option, it doesn't have it. Maybe you can't see because it's a shaky cam. Apologies. Now, for the grand finale that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, I am going to try this bad boy on. It is just green plastic on the inside, so I didn't even bother showing that to you. Unlike the Mandalorian helmet that had crazy detail on the inside, this is just a green shell on the inside. But let's get it on, take a look, and let's uh, check out my moves. was pretty cool. The visibility is way better than I would have expected, uh, but it's almost impossible to breathe in for long periods of time. I can't picture wearing this uh, as a cosplaying outfit for an entire Comic-Con day, for example, uh, but it is cool. The clasps were impossible. I could barely get it closed myself. I actually needed to seek some help for it. But I'd love to know in the comments down below, guys, did you have a favorite Power Ranger as a kid? What version was your favorite? Was it the Power Rangers Turbo or the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Or That's about the extent of my knowledge because I am old as fuck. However, don't judge. Tell me in the comments below what was your favorite Ranger? What was the favorite color Ranger that you have? But as always, I appreciate you coming in. Thanks for watching. Hit the like if you liked it. Subscribe if you can. It'll be awesome. We'll catch you on the next one.